My husband snores badly. For years, he kept me awake. It finally, I finally got him to go to the sleep doctor who said he has sleep apnea and it could be fatal. God, I hope so. We spend a third of our lives asleep, so I'm wondering why don't we choose our partners based on their behavior while they're awake? Is there a dating site somewhere out there that includes a realistic sleep profile? Night terrors, kicks, screams. Woo! <laughs> the world was outraged when it came out that the Marines had been sleep depriving the inmates at Guantanamo Bay for four to five days. What about 25 fucking years? <laughs> what does the Geneva Convention have to say about that? Where are the demonstrations for me? Where's the UN? When I die, I have one special request. That my husband be buried on his side. <laughs> you know, the plus-size women's shops and departments, they're disappearing. And frankly, I miss them. I mean, the salespeople there, they were the only ones who understood my struggle to take off the weight after the baby was born 240 months ago. <laughs> I recently went through menopause with all the symptoms, weight gain, hot flashes, mood swings, it was fabulous. <laughs> my whole life people had been telling me I looked like my father and I could see that it was true once I started growing a beard. <laughs> I saved so much time now. Every time I call for sneeze, I save a trip to the bathroom. I'm sorry, Mom. I promised her I'd keep the act dry. <laughs> and I loved some of the physical changes, like insomnia. Staying up all night gave me so much more time to nag and complain. I'm impossible now. I mean, there's no doubt anymore who's in charge of the remote control. <laughs> and everyone says how relaxed I look. Of course I'm relaxed. I don't have to worry about carrying around 300,000 eggs. <laughs> and choosing a political candidate has gotten very easy. And I think Bernie Sanders is the only one who really understands people like me. I mean, he is the only one offering underwear in my size. I have been so moved by the experience of menopause that I've written a song about it. Estrogen. You've left, and now there's hair growing on my chin. <laughs> now my mornings with a shave begin. Oh, it ain't nice, the state I'm in. Suddenly, it's like I've had a lobotomy. There's no more cold, but only hot of me. And there is quite a lot of me. <laughs> Once I had a waist and a figure that was sweet. Soon when I fly coach, I'll need to buy a second seat. People stare. Do they know I'm losing pubic hair? Or that there's dribble in my underwear? I'm trying hard. Not to despair. You know what annoys me? You know what annoys me? What really annoys me? Everyone seems to know that cameras add 10 pounds, but no one seems to know that standing up here and performing live adds 40. Thank you very much. Yeah.